subscribe to books on toast or a mafia don will call you and say no you will not get any mafia today i'm not going to say sorry Everyone, my name is Anuya, and this is the Books on Toes channel. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about thrillers. Cause this is a thriller, thriller night. I will do that once more. Cause this is thriller. Stop it. Get some help. I'm not off key. Um, I'm actually a very good singer. I'm just doing this so that the you know people at YouTube don't like just slap like copyright things on me. Ha ha ha. Today we're going to be discussing five unconventional thrillers for when you just need a page turner, you know, a book that will keep you uh, at the edge of your seat, hai na? Sometimes you just want that, just some mindless time pass. That's what these books are, but they're slightly different. Book number one is a book that I've read this year and I cannot stop recommending it enough. It's called The Push by Ashley Audrain and it's the story of Blythe Connor, a mother whose experience of motherhood is not what she thought it would be. Blythe has a daughter named Violet and she hopes that, you know, she and Violet will have the connection that she never had with her own mother, blah, 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 blah. But then she is convinced that there's something wrong with her child and her husband is, you know, dismissive. Of her feelings like husbands always are huh bloody husbands huh? men i tell you in case my husband is watching this i love you you're the best but other men suck now the push is the kind of story that uh, you just don't expect you think it's a story of motherhood and then it becomes like this slow burn page turner thriller and you don't know whose side you're really on until you reach the last page of the story because you know sometimes narrators can be unreliable or can they i love this book i will not stop recommending it it is important that you pick it up and you read it and you leave comments telling me what you thought about it because my god if this book doesn't win a bunch of awards i'm going to be really pissed off with this whole award system because the push by ashley audrain is one of the best books that i have read this year it is wonderfully written it is so so satisfyingly entertaining and it has some characters that you are not likely to forget anytime soon so that is book number one in our unconventional thriller series so while the push sort of borderlines literary fiction slash thriller uh the next book that i'm going to talk about is on the border of science fiction and thriller and it's called dark matter by blake crouch uh on twitter last year i asked people what was the last book that they read that they couldn't put down and this book featured as a lot of people's answers dark matter is the story of a man named jason Dessen who has this wife daniela son charlie loving family uh, happy life one day he's abducted by a man who sounds really familiar and taken to a world where everybody calls him jason but he's not married to daniela so what could be going on Right you are, it's the multiverse. Ah, multiverse. Jason, the one who kidnaps, has figured out how to crack the multiverse and has gone and replaced uh, other Jason whose life choice led him to be married to Daniela. Now, our first Jason, our hero Jason, has to find his way back into this world. I mean, it's really, 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 really fascinating when you sit and think about the choices that you make in life and wonder, huh, is there another world in which I chose what was behind door number two and what is that world like kind of similar to midnight library but a lot more thrilling huh? lots of maramari and all that stuff book number three is a modern day adaptation of jane eyre called the wife upstairs by rachel hawkins the wife upstairs is a story of jane a girl who has just newly arrived in the town of birmingham alabama and she works as a dog walker in thornfield estates and there she meets a man named eddie rochester and who's rich handsome charming la yada 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 and they fall in love and uh, except he has a wife named b who died in a boating accident and um, her sort of specter haunts everything that jane does because she's constantly compared to her so now jane has to figure out what the mystery behind this whole well, death is. Can she ever emerge on top? Can she ever win? Slowly as the story unravels and new things come to light, you realize that this is a very, very clever adaptation of Jane Eyre. When you see how she's taken certain things and twisted them to suit this narrative and you can't help but like tip your hat to Rachel Hawkins who has done a stupendous job of bringing a, a classic to the modern day. If you're looking for an absolutely delicious page turner a book that you will not be able to leave until you're done then there is none like the wife upstairs 
by Rachel Hawkins. The fourth book in our list of five unconventional thrillers is called Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Uh, set in the 50s, it's the story of a girl named Noemi who goes to this house in a Mexican countryside called High Place, uh, where her cousin is married to an Englishman and she gets uh, news that the cousin's health is slowly deteriorating. So she goes there to help her and to find out what really is going on in this weird, old, decaying, dilapidated place. Now, Mexican Gothic is horror thriller. It is quite scary. So once again, do not read it at night. How did I read it? I don't know. I just got really sucked in by the story and I always close the book and put it down whenever it got a little too scary for Anuya. Mexican Gothic is also the world, you know, 1950s Mexico, I don't know anything about it, uh, which is why it is so refreshing to read something based in that time. Mexican Gothic is fun because the heroine is fun. She wears the most amazing clothes. Like I found myself constantly Googling this and that and that and her hair and makeup and what she must look like, what the world must be like during that time. The storytelling is simply fantastic. It is something that will keep you guessing keep you on your toes and as you go deeper and deeper into the the horror elements it's just so deliciously well gothic <laughs> another book you won't be able to put down book number five on our list of uh, unconventional thrillers is uh, actually pretty damn conventional i thought why not let's have one that uh, has all the tropes of a good crime novel and uh, enjoys the heck out of it Right? And that book is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Now, The Guest List is kind of very reminiscent of Agatha Christie. Uh, it's about a wedding that's taking place on an island. And of course, there is a murder. One by one, you start figuring out what's going on, all the murky things that are happening in the lives of the various guests on this island and how everybody is a suspect. But in the end, of course, the answer is something you never saw coming. So this is a very, very classic crime fiction novel. It is uh, thrilling. It is surprising. Uh, lots of very, very interesting characters keep you hooked to the pages. And the end, of course, is uh, completely unexpected. So if you're looking for some good old thriller, you know, something that ticks all the boxes, good time pass, there is nothing like The Guest List by Lucy Foley, which, by the way, was also Reese Witherspoon's book club uh, pick, you know, a place that I often go to find my next read. Um, what about you? Is that where you also go? Let us know in the comment section or let us know where you go to find your next read, apart from books on toast, of course. I hope you enjoyed that list of five unconventional-ish thrillers. We will keep telling you more about books. Keep watching our channel. Keep reading books. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, share this video. Please let us know in the comment section what are other thrillers that kind of are unconventional that you enjoyed. And of course, subscribe to our channel in case I forgot to tell you that. Right? All right. This is Anuya. I have to go and do actual work now that pays me money. <laughs> Bye. What do you call Lucy Foley? Uh, guns in it, huh? Lucy Goli.